the the web system allows faculty members to change grades. So before we do the attack, I'll just show you how I can log in. I can log in as Steve. And you've seen, you know my password, you stole it from the previous attack. And I can view the grades of some student. For example, this student with ITS 335 is an A. If I select that student, I can change the grade. Okay, so this is the normal feature of the website. It allows the admin or the faculty member to change grades. Let's give them an F. So select the student that you want to look at. You may type in the course code. If you click on their ID, so currently they have a B plus, I may change the grade to say an F. So I've done it for both students, or a D in this case. So that's the normal feature. The, the faculty member can change grades. Students should not be able to change grades. And if you do it normally as a student, you'll find you cannot change the grades. We'll not test that. But what we'd like as a student is to get the ch grades changed without being logged in as a faculty member. Can the student change the grades? And we'll do what's called a cross-site request forgery attack to do so. Let's just view the grades. Just to confirm, so this student has a B for CSS322, C for ITS323, and an F for the other one. Let's give them Fs for everything. They're not so good. Okay, so that student has Fs for all courses. Now, I'm currently logged in as the, the faculty user, Steve. Someone tells me while I'm logged in and marking students, someone sends me an email with a link to another website which offers some interesting things, some free stuff. I don't have the email, but they told me the URL, I'll open it up, is freestuff.com free stuff someone sent a link to this and I like free stuff so I visit the website okay it offers free stuff so let's say this is a website that has many different uh, things that are interesting to me so I visited that fine now I better go back to marking I I'm, I'm, I'm need to finish grading so I go back to grading and just check and view the grades. Mr. Four there. What's happened? Student, this student now has an A for ITS 335. So this is what we call a cross site request forgery. And it in involves several aspects. It involved, while I was logged in to the, the normal website, I visited another website, free stuff. For example, the, the malicious user tricked me into visiting this website. They, they send me an email or, or tell me a link to this website which offers things for free or something that I'm interested in, and I go there while I'm also logged in in another tab into the, my uni website. Now let's look at this free stuff website. Let's look at the source code. If you look at the source code, it actually contains an image in there, but the size of the image is zero. So there's an image, but it's, it's not viewable. That's to hide it from the normal user. 
And the image, the way that the images work with your web browser is that when there's a link to an image, your web browser will automatically download it. It clicks on this link. Look at the link. It goes to the real MyUni website and it executes or it visits the URL that updates the grade. For that user, for the course ITS 335, it sets the new grade to A. That is the normal way to update a grade via this URL, but it only works if you're logged in as the user Steve. If a student who's logged in as their, their normal user tries to visit, visit this URL, it will not work. But my web browser is currently logged in as Steve on the other tab. And the cookie that identifies me is still sent and the cookie, when my web browser visits this image, it sends the cookie for the domain www.myuni.edu. And the MyUni website receives the cookie from user Steve, therefore it executes the update of grade and it changes the user's grade to an A, without me knowing. Right? I know now because I see it in the grades, but in what can happen here is now that okay, a student who cannot log in and change their grade, if they can trick me to visit a, a website which has a link to the URL that does change the grade while I'm currently logged in, then they can get the grade changed in this case. So it involved this fake website, which was node 5 in our case, set up with a hidden link to change the grade and it worked in that case. In this case, the hidden link was in a zero-sized image. There are other ways to do that as well. It's called a cross-site request forgery. There's a request sent to a different site, so the cross-sites, and the request really is a request to the MyUni site, and it has the correct domain so that the cookie which logs me in is attached in that request. So this is another attack which is quite prominent. And if we return to our lecture slides, wherever it is, where does it fit? CSRF, cross-site request forgery in, in number eight here. It involves that you're logged in as the, the normal application, the normal website, and another website, the attacker has another website with a link to the normal one hidden from the user and they get the, the victim to visit that site while logged in. So it requires me to logged in at the, be logged in at the same time but visit a different website. And that, if it's not implemented correctly, it allows the attacker to execute something that they couldn't. There are ways to prevent that. In every request, make sure that there's some token included that uh, is, is unique and unpredictable so that the attacker cannot create such a link that will work. The web server will check the link. And make sure that the information is not in the URL but is in a post request. So you can implement your, browser, uh, your application to avoid such attacks. But some people will not. 